All right, y'all. Kevin D is trying to do that thing where he finishes the job before I can get back. <laughs> and I caught him in the act. Oh. <laughs> where were you? We talked about a crawler, and I see the crawler surfaced from wherever it was hiding. Yeah, it's in place. Pretty but we much. think that's going to be the, the move. Pretty much in place. Fine tune. Uh oh, excuse me. I'm going to get under there. Well, y'all, as y'all saw in the last episode, we uh, couldn't get the transmission to get low enough. So we think we're going to kind of uh, scoot the whoop over the jack and uh, put it on the uh, the crawler and roll it out, out the front. Because I think it'll have uh, enough space if it's on the crawler. Because the crawler is pretty low. It's pretty low. So it should give us the space we need. So I think we have to push the jack and the transmission backward away from the engine. And then from there, we'll scoop de whoop it over the uh, the jack, the transmission jack, and onto the crawler. Yep, new video. Oh, make sure y'all like the video and make sure y'all are subscribed because I know it's a lot of people who watch the content aren't actually subscribed, so it would be a big help if y'all hit that subscribe button because I got big goals this year, big goals, and I'd love for y'all to be a part of it. So stay tuned. trying to help that's what's happening oh i'm sorry you all right no i'm good but it just came off the crawler <laughs> completely it's sitting on the ground that now. wasn't scary at all no it wasn't <laughs> it's just sitting on the cardboard now uh that's fine but i, I think, think we could prop it up i think we could get the we could i think we could just push it from there just slide it out on his belly yep all right i think the pan is tough enough and the cardboard is uh will see us most of the way yeah uh, i'm gonna pull the crawler out because it's just in the way now okay Something else is in the way. My hip bones are on fire. Why? Because I'll I be laying on them. Oh. And I, I, I ain't got no body fat. So. <laughs> I'm going uh, to grab it like this and, and pull it towards you. Yeah. Okay. But it might just kind of turn toward you. That's why I was you giving you the what? warning. We need to go tail first. Because really? there's going to come a point in time we got to pick up on the tail to lower this. Yeah. And get it out. So it should go tail first. Alright. That's probably a better grip anyway. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and still go for the highest point, wherever the highest point is. It looks like you need to go a little bit uh, uh, toward forward. the back of the vehicle to get toward the, the lowest, lowest point. Right toward the... Toward the back by uh, three inches, that's all. You sure toward the back? I yeah, thought. that way. Uh -huh. For the lowest point of the truck, yeah. And then when you pick up on the tail, the front end will lower and out it comes. I just, uh, alright. <laughs> you want to go to the front? Uh, oh, yeah. you know what? Yeah, yeah you're right, Stone. You, you saw something I didn't see. My bad. My bad. And here's the absolute best lowest point where my foot yeah. is. Uh-huh, that's what I was okay. aiming for. Alright, well, you gotta go there. You trying to do it? Yeah. <clears throat> Cardboard's yeah. breaking up. What's breaking? The cardboard. Oh, yeah. We got Because I, I got my knee on it, so it's okay. kind of holding it in the same spot. All right, we need Ready for another, another? another inch or something. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's the cardboard stopping it. Okay. All right, well. Actually, I'm going to tilt, tilt it and go above the cardboard. In the world? Okay, go for it. Because the cardboard's stopping it, so it's got to over the... Why don't you keep tilting it and just go on out with it? All right. If you can. It's the moment. Hold on, wait. Let me make sure I can get it off. It's the home. moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here comes the cor torque burn. It's coming out? Yeah. So is the oil. That's all right. 
I got stuff for that. That's fine. We can just put it back in. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. Woo! Yep. Done deal. Let's out of there. Let's go home. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put the other one in while we wrestling. Yes, it. <laughs> Get the agony over with. <laughs> I got, do all the connecting. I got all a lot. Huh? I got a lot to do before I can put the other one in. Okay. Uh. Now we can use this Ooh. as a learning experience. Good Lord. So we can figure out how we're gonna finagle the other one back in. We're gonna slide it back in too. We're gonna put a serious <laughs> arrangement of cardboard. We're gonna make cardboard sleds for days. That thing gonna slide so easy on that cardboard. And then when we get it in there, <laughs> we're going to use Old Faithful Jack. Yeah. Because we can get that on Old there. Faithful with the, with the crooked, uh, crooked wheel. The dead wheel. We're going to use that to raise it. And once we get it on the post, uh, line it up and sit on the post. Mm -hmm. and the bolt in is easy. This thing is done. All the burnouts. <laughs> you can rest now. <laughs> yeah, you <can>. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying that shouldn't wiggle like that, huh? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I want to compare it to the other one, but I feel like it's going to disappoint me. But whatever. Well. Now, look, I'm just trying to get all issues out the way. I feel like there's a reason why the, my drive shaft, wait a minute, just for the sake of, there's a reason why my drive shaft looks like that. <laughs> and it's not even perfectly round anymore. There's a part that's like, it's got like a divot. Yeah, so after transmission situation is fixed and then, uh, Transmission situation and drive shaft situation, it'll drive brand new. And then I'll have a shifter also at the end of this. And it'll run even better. Uh huh. Even better. Because now it goes that little grrrr, you can feel it mm -hmm. underneath your seat. And that wobble that you were feeling was this wobble that's here? Yeah. More than likely? Mm hmm. Yeah. Actually, can you do me a favor, Dad? What's that? I need to go get my other lens, but I think this looks cool, so I want to take a picture. Okay, so what you want me to do? Just stay right there while oh, I okay. get my lens. Yeah. My other lens for it. And then well, where would I go? I don't know. I just huh. I just thought with the light and all that, I just think it looks cool. So. Okay. All right, y'all. So we finally got Old Faithful out of there. Finally. You know, it's funny because we couldn't figure it out yesterday. But mm -hmm. as soon as we come back out today after being, you know, a little rested, then... Yeah. It just kind of falls out. And some time to think about it. Yeah, yeah, some time to think about it. Away from it. Think away about it, it away from it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we see it, we might we might hit it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, we got it out. Uh, still, the next episode, I'm not sure what it's going to be because I need the plate. I need the plate uh, assembly so I can put a uh, floor shifter in here. Also, hmm, what else? Yeah, I need to buy the actual shifter, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I want to uh, get the shifter, get the shifter and the plate, because that's going to be like probably like four or five hundred bucks total. I forget how much the plate costs, because it's already like pre-made, you know, for like for specialty situations like this where you need the shifter to be elevated, like with a truck. I forget how much it costs, but I, I don't think it's cheap. So I'm trying to think on uh, which one I want to buy first and how I can make some content out of it all for y'all in the meantime. I also need to do my speedo cable. It's a whole bunch of things I need to do. So just stay tuned. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do next, but like I said, stay tuned and uh, follow the Instagram. And if you haven't already, make sure you like the video because, you know, makes it happen for me. And um, also make sure you're subscribed because I'm really trying to take this channel somewhere. I'm almost at 11,000 subscribers, so that's exciting. Uh, yeah, but I'm really trying to take this channel somewhere, so make sure you're subscribed for me. And that's really all I got for y'all. I can sit here and talk all day. I really appreciate you guys watching. I will see you in the next one, and have a good one.